The Armed Forces of the Russian Federation continue the special military operation. In the Kupiansk direction, artillery of the Zapad group of forces engaged the enemy units close to Durechnaya, Sinkovka, Olshana and Kotlarovka in Kharkov region. More than 50 Ukrainian troops, two armored fighting vehicles, two motor vehicles and one Akatsa self-propelled howitzer were neutralized. Moreover, an ammunition depot of the 103rd Territorial Defense Brigade was neutralized close to Kislovka. In the Krasny Leman direction, operational tactical aviation, artillery and heavy flamethrower systems of the center group of forces neutralized manpower and military equipment of the armed forces of Ukraine close to Chervona Dibrova, Ploshanka and Kuzmino in Lugansk People's Republic. The enemy has suffered losses of over 90 Ukrainian troops, two armored fighting vehicles, three pickup trucks, one Gvozdika self-propelled howitzer and D-30 howitzer in this direction in the past 24 hours. In the Donetsk direction, units of the U group of forces, aviation, artillery and heavy flamethrower systems have destroyed over 300 Ukrainian troops, three armored fighting vehicles, three motor vehicles, one Akatsa self-propelled artillery gun and the 20 howitzer during the day. In the South Donetsk and Zaporozhye directions, operational tactical aviation and artillery of the Vostok group of forces neutralized Ukrainian units close to Uglidar in Donetsk People's Republic, Zaliznichnoye, Malaya Tokmachka and Malaya Sharvaki in Zaporozhye region. The enemy's losses have amounted to up to 40 Ukrainian troops, three motor vehicles and one US-made M777 artillery system in the past 24 hours. In addition, a fuel depot for military equipment of the 102nd Territorial Defense Brigade was destroyed near Zaleznichnoye in Zaporozhye region. In the Kherson direction, up to 20 Ukrainian troops, two motor vehicles and one Gvozdika self-propelled howitzer were destroyed by fire. Operational tactical and army aviation, missile troops and artillery of the Russian group of forces have engaged 83 Ukrainian artillery units, manpower and military equipment in 112 areas during the day. Two hangars containing weapons and military equipment of the Ukrainian armed forces have been hit on the territory of Shkolny airfield close to Odessa. Fighter jets of the Russian Aerospace Forces shot down one made helicopter of the Ukrainian Air Force close to Mali Krynki in Kharkov region. Russian air defense systems have shot down 26 unmanned aerial vehicles close to Krivosheivka, Nikolaevka, Rubezhnoye, Krimennaya in Lugansk People's Republic, Pesky, Novandreevka in Donetsk People's Republic, Vasilyevka, Stepovoye, Novopokrovka in Zaporozhye region, as well as Golaya Pristan and Krynki in Kherson region. In in addition, three HIMARS MLRS projectiles were intercepted. In total, 403 airplanes, 224 helicopters, 3,528 unmanned aerial vehicles, 414 air defense missile systems, 8,370 tanks and other armored fighting vehicles, 1,070 combat vehicles equipped with MRLS, 4,410 field artillery cannons and motors, as well as 9,052 units of special military equipment have been destroyed during the special military operation. The other side, Ukraine Defense Ministry in a statement said Russia lost 920 servicemen in a single day, including five tanks, eight artillery units as well as two MLRS and two air defense systems. In total, Kremlin lost 167,499 servicemen during the conflict, including 3,557 tanks, 6,887 armored fighting vehicles as well as 305 jet fighters and 290 helicopters. President of Ukraine Volodymyr Zelensky paid a visit to Donetsk region and pleased all the fighters. Our people, our military, our Donetsk region, our Ukraine, we are at home, on our native land, hence, we will win Ukraine Zelensky said on March 22.
Terima kasih sudah nonton. Jangan lupa like, subscribe, dan share ya. Thank <laughs> you.